For months, we have seen predictions of a massive teacher exodus. This is nationwide we're talking about here. The deadline has now passed for Utah schools to finalize their teacher contracts and know who is actually leaving. So will our children return to class with a full-time teacher? We surveyed major school districts to find any troubles with teacher turnover. It's a very different year than I've ever had when I've taught school before. Many teachers found last year exhausting. The mask wearing, social distancing, um, hand sanitizing. But Heidi Miller is preparing her room and eager to meet her students. I'm excited for what this next year will look like. Grim predictions had school leaders fearing a teacher ready? shortage. One year ago, the National Education Association surveyed its members and found nearly one in three were more likely to retire or leave the profession. Then in January, the Rand Corporation surveyed teachers and found nearly one in four considered leaving their jobs by the end of last school year. Other surveys also predicted a mass exodus. Were you worried? Uh, yeah. Uh, to be fair, yeah, Granite District was losing birthday. teachers before so the pandemic. Morning. To large extent, baby boomers approaching the retirement age. Add on COVID, hybrid learning. Spokesman Ben Horsley says they were surprised to find. Our numbers are much better this year. We've seen a significant decline in retirements and resignations this year. I call that a win, uh, uh, that they weren't higher than they were or were expected to be. On a national level, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported quits rates for education in May of 2021 were almost half of what they were the year before in the heart of the pandemic. Here in Utah, we requested three years of data on teacher turnover from most of the state's major school districts. In Granite, there was a slight increase in teacher turnover right after the pandemic, but numbers dropped this year. Alpine, Jordan, Nebo, Washington, and Davis experienced the same. Salt Lake saw a slight dip during the pandemic, but returned to normal levels. Weber District saw a steady decline in teachers leaving. The UEA, Utah's teachers union, says it's too soon to rest easy. I think it's really premature to, to think that we're out of the woods. UEA President Heidi Matthews thinks with the Delta variant likely leading to another tough year, teachers could reach their breaking point. It, it was just not sustainable, and we thought we were through that. She also says their data shows veteran teachers are being replaced with those less experienced. We are losing some, some, some icons in our, in our classrooms um, and, and being replaced with wonderful people who are entering our profession. Perhaps the most useful insight comes from the question, what brings teachers like these from exhausted to excited? These teachers told us the ability to do their jobs in person. I've actually felt a little bit of freedom compared to other states here, so I think that's why we haven't had such a bad drop in teachers. And to know it mattered in the lives of students. It's needed more now than has ever been needed, I think, in educational history for good teachers to be here. Horsley believes providing every child with a contract teacher is one of the best ways to ensure a successful school year, no matter what COVID brings. The real winners here are the kids. Absolutely, and I think that's a really important point. So while most school districts are doing pretty well for teachers, we did find one area where they are hurting, and that is for bus drivers. Some of the larger districts are trying to fill a few dozen open spots, so if either of you have your commercial driver's licenses, <laughs> apply to your districts. There's room, there's room. Yeah. All right, great story, Dean.